Hi everyone, my name is Mo Saha. I am an artist, coloring book author, and an avid art journaler. And today I am going to experiment with some craft plastic from Graphics. So this is the opaque white, 12 by 12. Each pack comes with four sheets, and this is 200 GSM and a thickness of 0 0.010 inches. What I love about this plastic, uh, it's that it can accept watercolor. That is not something we normally expect from a plastic surface. But it, I have experimented it before and it is really blows my mind every time I see that it can take watercolor so beautifully without the color beating up and taking forever to dry. Uh, you can also print on it, draw, use acrylic paints, alcohol inks, markers, oil paints, pastels and graphite. I think that's a pretty big range if you think of the possibilities. So my goal today is to make a bookmark for our beach reads. Um, I'm choosing plastic because I want something to be a little more a um, little stronger, sturdier, and a bit weatherproof than a piece of paper. So I have cut a little strip. This is about seven inches by two inches, and I, you know, I am simply guessing. It's not big. It seems like the right size for a bookmark. So I have cut it out. And as it said, I can use graphite pencil on it. I did a small drawing of a woman in the beach and that is something I'm going to color using my watercolors. So I am going to set my plastic aside and I have here a pair of scissors that I used to uh, cut this out. I have my pencil. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it more, but it is here. And I have some basic ordinary paint brushes. I also have some water here. And this is my watercolor. This is a simple set of pan watercolors from Faber Castell. There are 48 colors in all in here. And I think for my purposes, that is sufficient. So let's get started with coloring. Now, usually I start writing or coloring from the top of a page but today I want to start at the bottom which is where the lady is and the lady is inspired by peg dolls you know the for example something like this this is a this is just a pig which my daughter has started coloring and this is made of wood but this is what inspired me there's a simplicity of it there is a uh, shape that uh, becomes a little bigger at the end and there is a little round at the top and that is what the starting point for my um, lady at the beach is
I used watercolor on white craft plastic and as you saw the colors were received very well there was no bidding of water there was no um, resistance from the plastic in receiving the watercolors and I could not only put one layer of color I could also layer more colors on top of my previous layers and um, that helped me fix up any of the areas that I felt didn't uh, get all the colors properly or if I wanted to change a color make it lighter darker whatever I could do that and being on plastic if I want to blot off a color watercolor or even acrylic while it's still wet I could simply take a paper towel and dab it off because I was layering colors I had to use my heat tool to just um, dry one layer and then go to the next and when I wanted to work on up here I had to dry the colors down here so that I didn't smear them there was no bending no melting no foul smell because from the heat it's just very, just like paper but it is a much sturdier more flexible uh, thing even after I have painted and when I'm bending my paint is not cracking off so you can see that the paint is here to stay now if I want to seal this I could totally do that with a little bit of decoupage medium that I usually dilute with a bit of water and uh, we could do that but I don't feel the need I have not seen them rub rub off or anything like that in the past so I think as far as painting the bookmark goes it's done now if I want to add more details say with my pen I can do that let's let's try doing that this is India ink marker and I am very satisfied with the surface and you know when I'm working I don't have to be nervous that it's going to scratch off or I'm going to lose the design or nothing like that is happening this is a pretty easy and um, versatile surface I have to say and this is a very simple project if you want to do a bigger project um, this like I mentioned earlier this comes in a 12 by 12 inch size so you can do a much bigger project than my little bookmark and you know you can really create whole paintings on such surfaces and frame them if you wanted to so having said that i will see you on another video using one another graphics product that i love and until then bye